Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. You are looking with me on the 2013 Toyota Tacoma 4-wheel drive with approximately 167,000 miles on the odometer. And I did very detailed inspection on her today for the owner, it's a new customer. And the fluids were relatively good. If you look on this transmission fluid, it's definitely on the better side. If you look on the transfer case, that's not bad. I'm sure you will agree. If you look on the rear diff, suddenly we have some black residue in it. But still, the oil is somehow doable. Well, I'm not sure when all these fluids were maintained why the front diff, the remaining oil, looks like this. Look at it. That's absolutely insane. It's still coming out. I will show you detail of it. Let's go and look. I put a light here for you. The front differential. And look. The trace. There is still the crush washer, the gasket, but look what is coming out of it. Can you see here? Do you see those shavings, that metal, which is flowing out? It was dripping for approximately 15 minutes. I was on the phone, so I couldn't film it right away when it was still coming. But it still gives us that perfect opportunity to see that metal coming out. Let's go look together on the plug. I'm not sure if this guard, this skid plate, which I had to remove, is still a front skid plate, but that was the second one. I had to remove it to get to it. If that affected, mentally affected anybody who did maintain this vehicle, because all the other ones, as we discussed, are easy to get to, correct? The rear differential, are looking against the light, transfer case, the transmission pan, everything is easy to get to, except this one was hidden behind that shield. So, is that the reason I nobody touch it forever? Let me show you the plaque. So this is the bottom plug, which has a magnet in it. And you will see the amount of metal which is sticking to that magnet. Okay. I normally wear gloves, but now we are filming. So this is the other way. Hopefully we can see that absolute detail of those shavings. Now. Again, I will use gloves normally. Look that amount of metal, which fortunately was sticking to that magnet. And therefore, it was not being used as a lubricant between those teeth of those gears. That was fortunately attracted here on the magnet. But what I'm trying to show you, guys, don't let it, don't let this happen. This is not good. This is too late. There definitely was already some damage to those gears. It's too much. We don't know, once again, we don't know why it happened. When everything else seemed to be kind of maintained correctly, you finally start seeing how much I removed from that magnet. I will clean it and you will see the different shape of it. Here you can see how this drain plug is supposed to look when it's clean. And in the case that there is a nice new oil in that front differential. That's that magnet which fortunately helps attract those shavings. So fortunately I went through every single part which has the fluid, gear oil, transmission oil, whatever. And from the bottom plugs, I took a sample. That's why 
how I discovered this absolute horror. Uh, I started with that, so I saw this one first, and then the other ones were pretty okay. So there was a maintenance done. Now, you might ask how often, or what's the interval, how often you should be checking front differential gear oil. Well, it all depends how the vehicle is old and mainly how it's driven. So let's say I put brand new oil right now, full synthetic GL575W90 in that front diff. Well, if you will never use that, just drive on the roads, it's approximately 60,000 miles. If you will occasionally use the four-wheel drive and go up the hills on the gravel and so on, it's recommended 30,000 miles. If you go in the dust and the gravel, let's say every weekend or every day you drive on these dust roads, these intervals actually go all the way down to only 15,000 miles. And you should be already checking a little sample and if it's dirty, it should be replaced too. So hopefully that gives you some idea how to deal with it. So I hope you find this video helpful and please make sure you are subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, my friend.